Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. And before we before we get started, I'm gonna play a video for y'all. I'm gonna play this video for y'all right here. psychosexual i'm only attracted to crazy girls there's something about mental instability that gets me absolutely bricked up it's not easy but i weed out all the rational girls on the first date what would you do if i slightly deviated from an existing plan i would say hey sometimes you gotta go with the flow <laughs> Disgusting. Lose my number. It's tough being a psycho lover because women naturally conceal their insanity and then soft launch it after a few months once the relationship's more established. Little do they know that insanity is actually what I want. What would you do if I came home, say, 20 minutes late? I would call you 12 times. What else would you do? I would go through your phone once you got home. Don't stop. I would get blackout drunk and get behind the wheel of my white Jeep Wrangler. And if you really love me, you would make sure I wouldn't crash and die. Oh my God. Us psychosexuals have a saying. If she's fucked in the head, she can fuck in the bed. Psychosexuals, we're here. And in this day and age, we're thriving. The reason I wanted to play that video is because we have so many different types of sexuals now. Saposexual, psychosexual, pansexual, metrosexual, heterosexual, homosexual, homo sapi I mean that homo homosexual, heterosexual. I said all that. Like it's about 30 of them, the sexuals, and it's too many to keep up with. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I don't understand why we need this many sexuals to say if you like men or women. It's either you're straight or you're gay. There ain't no bisexual. Ain't no deviating. Say, I like men and women. We, when I grew up, if you like men and women, we just called you gay. Point blank period. You, you fit, you, you fit in the gay category. Point blank period. It wasn't no, we had to make up something. And now we got Wayne Brady coming out and saying that he is pansexual pansexual is weird because i never knew what pansexual meant but i'm going to read to y'all what pansexual means so pansexual te technically means you you in love with people no matter the race gender or, or, or sex or anything like that you just you just you just love who loves you i guess or whoever gives you a feel or a vibe but i'm going to read the people's article about wayne Brady, if you're watching the video, make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all share the video. And I don't want to tell you that I love y'all. Wayne Brady comes out as pansexual. I'm doing this for me. Uh, Let's make a deal. Host opens up about his long road to self-discovery, how his daughter and ex-wife are showing him acceptance. I love all people equally, and now that includes myself. Deep into Malibu Canyon, up switchback road and overlooking a creek is Wayne Brady's house with a view of the Pacific, a creek and not much else. Save for tall gates, it's a fortress of solitude. It's a great place to think, Wayne Brady at 51 says. Now, I'm going to ask y'all this. You ain't never, do you think you will ever find yourself if you still find yourself at 51 years old? If you're 51 years old and a Wayne Brady that's probably been, you know, famous maybe 20 years, still finding himself when it comes to sex, do you think he would ever find himself? Ever. Now you 51 talking about you pansexual. Next 10 years, you're going to be what? Saposexual. Next 10 years, you're going to be heterosexual. The next 10, you're going to be homosexual. Like, damn, like it takes 51 years for you to find yourself. 51 you don't know what you like by now you haven't had sex with enough men and women to understand what you like by now okay y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section and he has been uh doing plenty of that braiding known much for, as far his death comic timing as his fully loaded smile is ready to tell the world he how he identifies i am pansexual he says meaning that he is attracted to person regardless of their sex or or gender brady puts it another way 
bisexual with an open mind, he says with a chuckle. Oh, now he bisexual. He was pansexual with the title. Now he's bisexual with an open mind. Wow. Today, the house is bustling with activity. The Let's Make a Deal host daughter, Maylee, 20, and ex-wife, Mandy Takati, 47, are on hand. Takita, I think I said Takita, was the first person Brady came out to. I just said, great, as I knew coming out would help him be happier, she says. Maylee's response to Brady was mostly a shrug. I said, okay, she remembers breaking into a big, proud smile. Also scattered around the house, a camera crew, Brady, Melee, and Takeda, along with Takeda's partner, Jason Fordham, are filming a reality series about the blended family set to premiere on Hulu next year. Takeda and Fordham welcomed a new baby in 2021, and Brady is considered a co-parent. This makes sense. Yeah, I got a new show coming out, so, you know, he's going to do what he can to push this show. You know, it's making headlines. It was six days, six days old. And I still see people talking about Wayne Brady being pansexual. And this is good publicity for your show. Um, it helps you with your blended family. I want to do him, his ex-wife, and the new man be having sex with each other. Like, I want to really come out during the series like they don't know who baby this is. This would this would be wild. This would be a great twist for a show, you know. And they just run off with the baby. Yeah, they should just like run off with the baby. Her, Wayne Brady, and the, uh, his ex-wife's new boo. And they should just take the baby and she just should be looking for them. And, you know, she would never expect Wayne Brady and her new boo to cheat on it, cheat with each other. Like, that would be so great. That would be a good, I'm telling y'all, that would be a good script. But I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. But it makes sense of why Wayne Brady would come out like this because why do we know what need to know what's going on in your bedroom what is the point and you got to ask yourself why are y'all still interviewing people that's 20 years in the game 20 years plus in the game i don't want to hear from wayne brady i don't want to hear from Dave Chappelle. i don't want to hear from a kevin hart i don't want to hear from anybody that y'all have been interviewing for the last 15 years plus what else are they going to tell us it's kind of like when a rapper gets to a point when y'all can hear his music or their music that they're not hungry anymore. They said all they've had to say in the last three albums, their first three albums is all they got. And now they're just making this bubblegum repetitive music to stay on the charts and to stay making money and to be able to still tour. You have nothing else to tell us. So why are you even interviewing Wayne Brady? Because you got a TV show coming out. Because you got to put it in our face about sexuality. Because these are the people that got their hand up your ass and controlling you like you're a puppet. This is what's really going on in today's society. And it gets scarier and scarier. And I tell you this all the time. You have to watch yourself when it comes to the stuff that you expose your household to. Yourself, your your, your spouse, your girlfriend, your children, your, your nieces and nephews, your aunties and uncles. You have to be careful when you turn on that TV, that tablet, open up these cell phones, because you never know what you will be exposed to. You don't know how these spirits come through the phone and latch on you and leech on you take your energy and drain you because we all know after being on the cell phone or a computer and staring at them too long, you feel drained and tired and your eyes be burning and you don't know why you feel this way. Then you have dreams the next day. Like, well, I don't know why I had this dream because you've been programmed to have that dream. Like I said, you have to be careful when it comes to all of these things that's going on. Wayne Brady it is no reason for them to be interviewing a Wayne Brady 20 years later like he had something to reveal to us. Y'all really could have just wrote a story about what's come, what's going to happen on the show. Y'all could have gave us a trailer. Y'all could have gave us a little snippet, a little small little article. Y'all didn't have to interview Wayne Brady to tell us that he was pansexual or what he said in the article, bisexual with an open mind. At this point now, we got to ask ourselves, why are we listening to people that are interviewing that's been around 20 plus years in the game? Why? Why am I listening to a Wayne Brady interview and he's had hundreds of interviews? Kevin Hart, Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, 
Danny Glover, like who, who anybody you could name that's been around 20, Samuel L. Jackson, uh, if Michael Jackson was still alive, if Janet Jackson, Jermaine Dupree, you know, Noriega, Joe Budden, anybody that's been around 20 plus years, why are we interviewing these people and why do we care what they have to say and what new information are they going to give us? What new information could they possibly give us at this point? What's new? What's exhilarating? What's going to be like, oh, my God, I never thought about that. What's going to, you know, turn your brain on and make you think like nothing is going to give you that from these people. Like you said, like you got your Charlemagne, you got your DJ Envies, you got your Angela Yees. You got, why are you interviewing these people? The list goes on and they keep interviewing the same people. I wonder why. Is that because these people are safe? Is that because these people are going to say what they're paid to say? Is that because these people are trained to speak a certain type of way? They have certain cadences, certain rhythms, certain frequencies, certain vibrations that can latch on to you? Is they telling you, hey, this is what you got to do to be a Wayne Brady. You have to come out as pansexual. You have to come out as a bisexual with an open mind to be where I'm at, to be overlooking this, what they say, uh, uh, the Pacific Ocean with woods and a big gate. That's what it said in the article. Why y'all telling us about where Wayne Brady stays at, his, how big his house is, and how he overlooks the Pacific? Are you telling me I need to identify as pansexual, bisexual with the open mind to get where Wayne Brady's at? To be on TV, to have a show that's coming out next year. All of this stuff is scary. And it's not by coincidence. This is by design. It's not by coincidence. It's by design.